Starting your own video production company can be tough, and a recession is about to make things a whole lot tougher. That's why in this video, I'm going to show you how to start a video production company during a recession and make it successful in today's economy. Now, this is an industry that is only going to be growing, so now is the perfect time to get started. So basically, a recession is a significant and persistent decline in economic activity. That means that people lose jobs, they struggle to pay bills, there's less opportunity for luxuries, and less money for essentials such as food and medical care, which typically means that lots of businesses will stop spending money on marketing or are going to be focused more on budget and efficiency. So that sounds pretty bad, right? And that's gonna be really annoying to those of you that have been going for a while, while those of you who are just starting out are going to have the best opportunity ahead. There are more millionaires made in a recession than any other time in period. The question is, are you going to be brave enough to take this journey head on? So how would I start a video production company during a recession? And I'm gonna try and break this video down into 10 key sections so that you can have bite-sized information to take away and implement in your own business. So let's start at the very beginning. If you're currently employed, whether that's full-time or part-time, if I was you, I would keep that job while trying to grow your own video production company. You don't wanna be without a job and without any clients. So when your business is eventually kicking off, you'll know when your job is holding you back. And at that point, you can make that jump. But don't make that jump too soon and be too eager because you're gonna want a little bit of security during a recession. Next up is to learn as much as you possibly can about the business side of things before starting up. You only get one shot at speaking to clients and landing a project and you don't wanna mess it up. You're already one step ahead by watching the content on this channel, so make sure you keep investing in your own knowledge because it's gonna set you up for having better success in your business. Now, it's really important to network with other professionals in the industry because not only does that build a really good community, you can build up a network of people you can rely on. So if you can't do a project because perhaps you're on holiday or you've been booked by another client, you can still fulfill that by getting a subcontractor to do that. And you're gonna want it to be someone you can trust as well to actually look after that client. And it's also useful to know are they busy or are they not busy? If you're all not busy, then it might be a reflection of the industry, but if everyone else is busy and you're not, then maybe that's something that you're doing wrong as well. So by surrounding yourself with people in the same industry, it gives you a good insight as to how well you should be performing in your own business at that moment. Now this tip means that if you are not in a recession or you are in a recession, you need to create a website and social media accounts with examples of your work on. Businesses want to see the kind of type of work you can do and how good you are. Best place for that is a website or some kind of social media at the absolute minimum because you're going to want something to showcase your work and showcase your portfolio. Businesses are also gonna be worried about whether or not you're the right fit for them and if you're a scam and how good you are at your job, they're gonna want maximum value for their money. So if you can showcase that through your social media content and through a website, then it's gonna put you in a really good position, especially in a recession. But this is things you should be doing all the time. Which leads me on to my pet hate, get a professional email address. No one wants to be talking to a business that is business name at hotmail.com or something like that. Get a professional email address and people will take you more seriously. You'll get more replies to your messages and just ultimately you won't look like a scammer. Because particularly in a recession where there's less work to go around, they're gonna be looking at all of those small details that separates the professionals from the amateurs. So keep those things in mind. So something else that I would think about if you're starting a video production company during a recession, and that is to start working on your list of potential clients to email, DM, or call right now. I made this mistake and you don't wanna be on day one of your business having to put in the groundwork. Fill that sales funnel now with people who you are ready to approach. You don't have to email them now, but at least find out who they are. And if you want to know how we find thousands of potential clients for our business or otherwise known as leads, then I've actually got a mini course on how to do that and I'll link that below. You can't even begin to make a sale without leads, so make sure you focus on that before you actually start embarking on your business. Tip number four, your network is your net worth. 
If I was starting a video production company in a recession, I'd try and attend every event going. You need to meet people and build client relationships at a time like this because that's gonna be really important. You can't replace face-to-face -face interactions with business owners because you can build up such a better rapport than you can do even talking to someone on a video call or talking to someone through email or something like that. So try and get in front of the right people. Those relationships are always gonna be key over a recession. If you guys are finding value from this video, then please make sure you leave a like. It's one of the only ways we know how well the videos are doing and how well they're received by the audience and how much value it's providing. So if you can do that, it would be greatly appreciated. So tip number three for building a production company during a recession is to create packages. Businesses will be focusing on finances. How can you make your services more appealing? And what can you do to help that company grow their business even more? Think about what that might be, put it together in a package that provides maximum value so they feel like they're getting a lot for their money. Now you're gonna hate me for this one. Tip number two is to be prepared to make deals during a recession. Now this is why if you're only just starting a video production company and you're early on in your business, then you're in a great position because naturally you're going to be a cheaper option. Now cheaper is not always better, I understand that, and just discounting your prices for the sake of it is not what you want to do either. But I know that so many people are part of Facebook groups online where they say, don't do a job for less than 10 grand, know your worth, don't undersell yourself and just charge the maximum value. Well, good luck during a recession. The dangerous nature of that advice is that for someone with a minimum cash reserve, overpricing a job and losing out of it because of integrity isn't always a smart decision. Just be aware of this. You have bills to pay, right? So you might come to an agreement or an arrangement where you provide less services for a lower price. Ultimately, ask yourself at the end of the day, do I need the money? And actually, if you're at a point in your business where I know so many of you unfortunately will be, where you're gonna to need to basically sink or swim, you're going to need to survive, then just think, can you make a deal? Can you come to an agreement with that company so it at least means you can earn some money? Because earning some money during a recession can sometimes be better than earning no money at all. And that's why when I give advice, I try to look at it from different options. If you've got hundreds of thousands of pounds sitting in the bank account, then yeah, sure. You don't need to rush to do the job for a hundred quid. But if you're not in that position and you need money to pay your bills, really think about providing value to the client and making the deal happen. Okay, so tip number one, if I was starting a video production company again during a recession, would be simply to have patience. Success won't happen overnight. And when I started out, and even now for that matter of fact, I get frustrated when things don't happen quickly. And going from starting out in a desk in my parents' living room to having a studio and a team of people, that was only about two years. But if you can learn to be patient, good things will come. So many people give up on their dreams because they don't see results instantly. And there's one thing that's certain, you miss 100% of the shots that you don't take. So simply by expecting things too quick and not sticking it out, it means that you're gonna be more likely to give up, and if you give up, that's only one certain outcome, is that your business will not succeed. This is certainly something that I am personally working on right now. And what's equally important is knowing what mistakes to avoid when you actually start a production company. That's why you should probably give this video a watch, and if you wanna make sure that you're always up to date with the business side of filmmaking, then press the subscribe button, and I will see you in the next video.